Hey guys, just Mike here, and welcome to episode 2 of my uh, Leeds United save here on FMH14. So, uh, coming on from last episode, obviously uh, all players are on free uh, free agent, so I could sign who I wanted to. Um, obviously, um, still being at a certain uh, you know, reputation, um, so all Premiership teams are the same reputation, all championship teams have the same reputation, Premier League and, you know, Serie A and, um, you know, all the big leagues have all got the same reputation then, so on and so forth as it goes down, so, um, so I couldn't attract, you know, mass, it wasn't like I was going to get Messi or anything or Ronaldo or Bale, although I did try, but, you know, obviously they were going to have better offers coming in from them from bigger clubs could offer them more money, so, um, it is match day today, my first pre-season friendly, so I'm just going to play the pre-season friendly game. I'm just going to go through the squad quickly and just see, show you who I actually bought in. And uh, let me know what you think, guys, if you think I could have maybe, I don't know, got somebody better in or if I missed out on somebody, I'll, sit, I'll have a look to see if they're still available on a free, very much doubt it. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've got uh, Lucas Fabianski in goal, I think he's a solid keeper, especially for this level. I think he's, uh, you know, now he's at uh, Swansea. Um, I think he's going to have a good, you know, good season. I mean, he had to sit on the bench for a long time. Uh, but I think this level is going to do awesome. Um, I've got Luke Shaw, uh, left back. I was really surprised he actually agreed to come to me. I thought somebody else would come in for him. But um, obviously he's got some really decent stats as well. So I'm really excited about having him in the team, especially at such a young age. Um, Nathaniel Klein as well, so Southampton Connection there, well, previous Southampton Connection, again, um, decent age, so I think you can build it together. Um, Philip Senderos, just for some experience at the back, I think he's had a really good start to his uh, season with Villa, um, I just thought wanted an experienced centre back at the back just to, to you know, keep the uh, youngsters, oops, uh, in um, in check. Uh, this guy, I think. A lot of people buy him on FM anyway, maybe not so much anymore, but definitely when it first came out. Um, Zuman, well, you know, he's what a lot of people bought. Again, really good, decent stats for that age. I think you know, it can only get better, hopefully. Um, it's kind of looking for a team that would uh, do good in this league and then um, uh, hopefully get me into the playoffs. And then I'll build on that for next season. Uh, I mean, I'm not, if I can get promotion, that'd be awesome. But it's not something that I'm looking for. I'm just looking really for a... Um, Decent first season, uh, let the team obviously gel because it's going to be quite hard for a lot of the teams because it's all just players that, you know, probably haven't played before um, and then we're kind of going to take it from there really and hopefully second season get promotion, build on what we've bought, bought buy in a few quality players and then get into the premiership and first premiership season is basically just about survival um, and then we'll take it from there really guys. Uh, next... Um, Carlos Sanchez, uh, he's at, I think he's at Villa at the moment as well. Um, just, I mean, he's probably the best defensive midfielder I could actually buy. For some reason, Austin, I wasn't going to get rid of Austin, so we can't like him and see that lead at the moment, but he just wasn't coming at all. So um, I had a look around. Uh, age isn't, I'm probably going to look for a young, youngster, so if you guys have got any really quite good young um, defensive midfielders that I could uh, potentially replace him with eventually. Let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, again, really solid stats all round. I've been a really good all rounder. He is um, another uh, uh, well, ex Leeds player. This is I, look, I mean, I love Fabian Delph. Um, you know, I mean, <coughs> really glad that he's just been called up to the England squad as well. I mean, I th you know, I think he's been having a f last season. He had his probably best season in the Premiership. Um, I think he deserves probably at least a chance to to see what he could do. Um, Obviously, Cleverley's just gone to Villa as well, so... I mean, I'm not really a massive fan of Tom Cleverley. Uh, I just don't think he's really shown what he could do. But you never know at Villa. I mean, he might, if he's playing every game, he might bring a new lease of life and... You know, possibly get him back into the England squad. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, all, great all-round player. Really excited to have him on board. Uh, Tom Ince. Uh, obviously, I've gone for quite young players. Uh 
which with quality as well though. I don't you know I'm not buying young players just for the sake of buying young players. They've got to have some good potential about them. Um, Tom Ince, I think he's going to give good, obviously available right and the left as well. So and I'm trying to retrain him to play through centre just so if they've got any problems in any positions, he's going to be good to to fill. Um, Snodgrass, again, very disappointed when he left Leeds. But, you know, I can understand why. But uh, I was really surprised when we got him in League 1, to be fair. I didn't, you, can, you, you can always see him play at much a, uh, a higher level. Um, but uh, when we got him in League 1, I was just <laughs> so shocked with it. But, um, yeah, again, another quality player. <clears throat> again, play all the way through the midfield, left, right, centre, attacking. So, really good player to have. Uh, this one was a recommendation from uh, Matthew. Uh, what well, I'm, the, what most of you know him as I'm the Gaffer. Um, again, I had a look at him. Thought he had some good stats. I mean, look at, I mean, seventeen years old, and look at some of them stats. I mean, look at that creativity, uh, movement, teamwork, technique. Nineteen. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I mean, this guy potentially has got. I mean, already it's six point seven five million pounds. Uh, at the age of seventeen, um, this guy could be. In, just a beast really I mean he's got to work on his strength um, leadership I'm not really too fussed about it's not really someone I'll probably look at to be a captain um, but yeah I mean he's heading again if he's playing in midfield like to but mostly the strength that he kind of needs to work on um, but just some in the rest of the stats just I mean 16 dribbling as well just uh, amazing and then I'm never too sure how to pronounce his name v Vidra Vidra we all know him. He's obviously on loan at, um, uh, from Unicees uh, to, to uh, Watford last season. Um, obviously, you know, it wasn't going to stay there for long because the quality is shown. And just, uh, I think he, he could lead the line for me. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. Yeah, I've got some other options up front that I've bought in, but I'm going to try him in the first pre season friendly and see how it goes. Again, only 21, so. But that shooting, 17, creativity, 16, movement, 17, pace and stamina. Um, got good, quite good strength as well, so hopefully can hold up the ball. So, um, yeah, but again, as I said, I've got options. Not 100% solid in that one. Uh, again, I've just brought in some, um, uh, some youth and some experience on, on for the other players as well. Yoshida, you know, he's never just, I mean, he said I was getting injured. Again, I need somebody to obviously back up. So with some experience. Um, Jack Butland in goal, quality keeper at this level. Um, I didn't really know what, who to go in for keeper level. I had to look at a, f a few of them, and I, I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't really, you know, entice them to come to Leeds. Um, so every time I was clicking on them and going to contract offer, obviously, you know, I didn't think I was big enough or couldn't offer them the, the money they wanted. Um, so I didn't really go for too many. Uh, I went for a few of the classic ones. Um, you know, it's a and stuff, but um, just settled on uh, these two really. I mean, like, they're the only two I thought would come in for again, guys. If you know anyone who you think I'm, I may have missed out on, let me know. Uh, Grant Hanley, another good youngster, um, I think of quality. Joel Campbell, great striker, again, he's another option I could play up front, uh, or possibly on one of the wings or in midfield. Sorry if you can hear what's going on in the background, the window cleaners are here. Um, Barbosa. Again, that's some other option as my striker. Only 16 though, so I don't know if it's too early to throw him in as my main focal point up front. But some absolutely amazing uh, stats there. And I'm sure you guys already know about Pobo, so you're not, you're not stupid. Eric Peters, just an option at left back. Cole Jenkson, an option at right back. Joe Ledley and Joe Allen, the Cho show in midfield possibly. So again, just some experience. And again, some, I mean, I quite like Joe Ledley. Um, He's been, I suppose, a bit lucky with his career, but uh, I just think he's—I really think he's a really good player and um, uh, a great option for me to have on the bench. Um, I just kind of tried to think of players that I might need. I mean, I've, I've gone a bit crazy on some positions. I mean, like I've got like John Stones again to play centre back or right back. Colin Chambers he can play right back. Obviously, John Stones and Colin Chambers both just been called up to the England squad, which again, it's nice to see that Roy's given them a. A chance. Ben Davis, I've sent out on loan, so I realised I had too many left backs. Sam Bowley, he's just my cover for my defensive midfield at the moment. Um, not too sure about him, to be fair. Kind of bought him in, um, and now not 100% sure 
I think it's the right thing to do, but again, I might send him out on loan, but I need him at the moment of cover just in case anything happens to Sanchez. Cannot pronounce this guy's name at all, so if you can comment in the co <laughs> comments to let me know how to pronounce it, that would be awesome. Um, but it looks, looks absolutely solid. I've sent him out on loan, so I don't think I'll be using him just this season at all, but I um, can recall him any time, but again, look at him, you know, really good all-round stats. Um, again, oh, I never know how to pronounce his name as well. I think he's on to Palermo now. Um, Orly, Orlyon, Orly one. I'm not not 100 sure. Really sorry for my pronunciation of some of these players, guys. I should know better. I've been playing for one hundred for years, but never. You know when you just read it in your head and then you just think it's like that, and then you never really hear it on TV or anything. So you just keep constantly keep going with it until you hear it and you're like, oh, that's how you pronounce it. Um, only 18 quality stats. Going to be good one for the future. Raheem Sterling. Um, again, uh, not 100 sure. Um, between yeah, obviously I, I think he'll be on my team. He'll definitely probably be on my bench for a few matches. I'm trying to see what this team goes like at first. Um, but yeah, I'm, he's definitely been around the squad. Um, a guy who's gone out on loan. I have actually the team I used to be part of the uh, FMH live team. Um, part of the database I did actually make a squad up. It has got um the guys from it. So it's got Lee Cutler, who is genius at uh, tactics. Unfortunately, I've got to set a position for him. Um. There is uh, Jack Bullock as well. After all, fifteen. Um, Adam Dunwoody, and then myself as well. So somewhere around here, yeah. Obviously, I did set uh, thing quite high for them. So hopefully, we'll get out. They're in set in uh, non-league, and we'll, we'll I'll kind of keep progress on them. See where they go in. Um, see if they actually make it through anything. They'll just mostly be cup runs for them. Really, see if they've got any good cup runs going through. So yeah, he's on loan. Um, the Leon Osmond, Charlie Adams, just for some good uh, experience if I need it. But again, I've got like quite a lot of that kind of players who can play in that position, so might be looking to send them out some of them on on loan. Will Hughes, Maya, Chevrolet, again, three great attacking midfield players, just not really in my squad at the moment. I'm sure I could use them though, but one of them is probably going to have to go out on loan. In each of you, I've already sent out on loan. Um, Possibly um, get this is another option here for me up front. Um, he's uh, also one that got recommended to me by uh, I am a gaffer. Thank you, Matthew, for that one again. Um, couldn't get Belanta, unfortunately, guys, which <laughs> wasn't coming. Uh, yeah. So, pretty decent squad, I think. I think I've got a few too many players in a few positions and not enough in others, but. I said I can have a look at that. I just want to see how they perform first of all. Um, as a squad, so this is the squad I've gone for. That's the tactic I'm using. You don't want to see the penalty today. Team instruction. So attacking direct normal, pressing on offside trap, off counter on, member on the ball. I haven't chosen captain. I'm just gonna see what the um see what the game says is what we're doing, completely forgot what I'm doing here. So let's have a look who what the game says is my Try to ask Ledley. So Sanchez is the one with on the pitch. I'll probably going to stick Senderos to be fair, and then I'll have Sanchez as my vice captain. Uh, yeah, I'll do to be fair. For the time being, so obviously because because everyone's on a free transfer, there's so much news every day at the moment of people signing. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you'd like to just uh, leave in the comments below um, any players you'd like to see where they've gone to because they're. <laughs> There has been some quite good ones. I've been uh, looking through some players. So if you just like to comment below, let me know if you want to see where Messi is, Ronaldo, anyone at all, any players you love, um, and I will show them in the next video. So what my, my uh, video plan is at the moment is uh, Football Manager is going to be up on the Thursdays, and then my um, Pokemon series will be up on the Mondays, and then any other random videos will just go up as and when I put them through in the week. So I'm going to have the two main series running along the side, of Pokemon and Football Manager Handheld. And then I'm going to have uh, my just Android game reviews uh, as and when, if any suggestions come through, or if I just see a good game, or possibly get sent a free game from any uh, developers or anything like that. But yeah, guys, so let's crack into the game. <coughs> so I'm up against Mansfield today. Uh, so, uh, pitch full, yep, so, uh, China one, uh, Oh, it should go very faster. So I'm hoping for a good start. Here's Klein. Oh, 
the league already, I wasn't too sure, I think that was Snodgrass took the shot there. So a good start from the guys there, Snodgrass, Snodgrass, into, oh god, Myla, so close. It's a very, very good start, I mean, it's all, it's all lead so far, which is kind of what I said, oh yes, Hydra, Hydra, whatever his name is, he scored a goal. <laughs> I think this could be a bit of a walk in the park here. I mean, I've just seen Zachary Fryers there. Sanchez. Goal, my son. Yeah, it's Zachary Fryers there playing for uh, Mansfield. I believe he's just signed for Crystal Palace as well in the in real life. I'm not sure it could possibly be another Fryers. Snodgrass is all over the place today. It's, uh, oh, God. 3-0. 20 minutes in, 3-0, guys. I mean, it's not really giving me a... Um, a uh, 4-0. It's not really giving me an, obviously... Um, no, no disrespect to any Mansfield fans that possibly be watching this. It's not really giving me. Um, I, I kind of want to go up against a big team to see how good they actually are doing. Um, I'm, and I'm not even sure Mansfield have got a full eleven, you know, non grade out players at the moment. So we'll have we'll have a look at that after the match. But um, it's not really giving me a true think, test of how is this team good. I mean, you know, kind of thing. It's uh, so. Hopefully, I can't remember who the friendlies are against, so I'll have a look afterwards and we'll see if I've got anything that might actually test my team, see if they're any good. At half time, we were making quite a lot of changes, just bring them on, see if they're, they're doing any good as well. I mean, it's you know, uh, it's going to look like it's going to be quite a high scoring game. I mean, 6 0, and it's um, 36 minutes into the game. Uh, Mansfield haven't even had a, a shot on target yet, and obviously, very low possession, so we'll change up and see what the substitutes do after half time. But very pleasing, 16 shots, 13 of them on target, which is good. Uh, and obviously six of them to go in as well. High possession, so really pleasing to see. So well, Sanchez did pick up a thing, so yeah, just going to change it as much as I can. So um, let's bring on any substitutions I can do. So get Rashida on for Senderos, and the other. Um, both both set up front. Peter's on for Shaw. Jenkins on for Klein. Uh, oh, Joe Ledley, I think I'm going to bring on for Delph. And then Campbell for Ince, as he hasn't done much. Snodgrass doing quite, quite well. So, um, And then I might. Um, yeah, I'll just stick to it. I mean, you know, it's not his preferred position, but I'm sure he'll do a job for me. Sanchez has now come on as captain. Um, so, uh, obviously, used all substitutes I can there. And a great start from Barbosa. Picking up from where we left off with a goal. So, cracking start. So, it's not really giving me a true identity of what my team can and can't do. I mean, Snodgrass has definitely put a good claim in for, <laughs> for starting here. Um, yeah, definitely don't see his, seem to be as clinical with this uh, second half team here. Um, and as I said, that Jarlan just puts the ball in the net. So yeah, we're very happy to see, you know, they're not, again, you know, it's not really a massive test, but they're not getting into a half, they're not putting us under pressure, no shots, you know, no shots at all, um, we're, we're just dominating the game. I mean, I think this one's possibly going to be a double fear, fears game, which is quick and to start the season. Oh, they've had one shot, so there you go, so they have had one shot on target, uh, not on target though, so it was off target, so probably a snapshot would shot. Shot all oh, just one from outside of the box. There's Campbell with a goal as well. It's great to get these players off the uh, off to uh, when they start and obviously off the score sheet as early as they can. Give them some great confidence going into the season, especially with a massive win like this. So I'd be really sad to be Mansfield player now because obviously this can't be too. Uh, you know, it's very demoralising losing this this many. It's not not the best way to start a season at all. Um, oh, the penalty! Ah, oh, ref, never a laugh. Even the game said it looks harsh, but come on, come on, button. Oh man, conceded. Oh, didn't really know what to concede, but ah, oh, penalties. Oh well, ten one. Can't really, can't really complain, guys. Good result from all the players around there as well. So really, really pleasing to see. Let's have a look what the report says. Wingers were very effective. Clinical finishing. Midfielders supported the attack well, and the lone striker was very effective. So. Uh, so yeah, great to see there. Let's have a look at the fixture. So oh, yeah, Bury again, not really one for uh, to test my test my guys. I did want to just have a look at the um. So obviously defence weren't really tested, so sevens all round. 
Sanchez got an eight, Delphin eight, Tomins nine, Snodgrass rightfully given the uh, well, the match didn't score, but I'm sure his assists were ridiculous. Um, tenth, but and certainly again, defence not really getting anything. Student effort too much. Um, let's have a look at individual. Uh, so what did Snodgrass get? Yes, yeah, so six assists out of the ten goals, guys. Great start there for him. Um, and I just want to look at Mansfield just to see. Did they actually have a? Oh, uh, again, oh, they've got. Oh, they've just about got a squad. Um, thrown together. So yeah, not not great, but. Not Charlie Fires. I'm gonna say I wonder why Zachary Fires went that, you know, down to uh, Mansfield. So, so yeah, guys, as I said, uh, let me know if you want to see any players. Um, where you want to, if you want to see where they've ended up at. Obviously, you know where some of the vendor backs are at Leeds. Um, just comment below and uh, suggestions on player signings that potentially potentially make in the January transfer window. Or anything you might think I've missed, I'll have a check to see if they're available on a free. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let any other people know that you might you might uh, fancy watching my save. That'd be awesome to be building up my thing. But yeah, I see that, guys. The, the likes do really help because just let me know that you are actually enjoying the series and you want to see more of it. As I've said before, see, so, yeah, guys. Uh, sorry for the length of this episode, and, and probably I've been talking very fast because I get a bit excited sometimes. Hope uh, all the audio is picked up, and uh, yeah, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.